He's alive in there. What are you doing, little? Get him, little half leg. You can do it, buddy. Get Bob Ross. Bite his little nuggets. You can. <laughs> I can't believe that. What is going on, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today, we're back with the same modded tribe as before, but this is a new unit that we have not seen, and probably the coolest unit in tabs. I am serious about that. Last time we saw the Time Wizard, which was absolutely amazing, a unit that can stop time, but this is the zombie unit, and what I mean by that is, look at that! Look at that! It actually possesses other units to join its faction. So, we're gonna have some serious fun with this unit today. You guys also requested a bunch of different things we could try with this very awesome modded faction. Uh, so I definitely want to do some of your viewer requests today. But more specifically, I want to try and survive a zombie plague. As you can see, these guys are gonna be remarkably hard to deal with. And look at that, they actually won it. Now, do they actually win? Oh yeah, there we go. I put a delay on the victory screen. That way we don't miss some of those really cool shots at the end when uh, the game stops right after the kill. So yes, there we go. That's the new unit. It's only one new unit into the exotic faction, but yeah, it's a really cool update. And then we have all the other very awesome units as well. So the most requested new unit was of course the Time Wizard. Now you guys really wanted to see how quickly it can stop time. Uh, if we use a maxed amount of cheerleaders. So automatically it uses its time ability here. And as you can see, the berserkers were totally confused by that. I'm hoping he'll have enough time to do it again. There we go. They actually got stopped in the air, as you can see. Some of them did indeed make it in. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do any damage here because, well, all we have is the time wizard. Did he actually explode them out? Did you see that? When he was done doing his little time attack. There we go. It stopped again. It, it like, exploded them out. Let's see if that happens again. All right, here we go. Probably gonna, nope, didn't, whoa. It actually, was that from the Time Wizard or what was that from? I'm not actually sure. Now, obviously it looks like the Berserkers won. That's to be expected, but it does seem to increase the time slowing by quite a bit. Now, Gabriel has requested that we use the Cheerleader and Time Wizards to stop time totally. So I wanna see if we can maybe do a second time attack after this one, if we can stop this time forever. So we're gonna try this out. See, this guy's gonna get closer and then he's gonna do his little attack. Hopefully, yes, that was perfect. The moment after the other one is done. I put that guy in the back so it would uh, be delayed like that. Look at this. I think I set this up perfectly first try. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't put any damaging units on this but these guys are stuck. They have not moved at all. This is the perfect setup. You can see once this guy's done, this other guy is going. So basically all you need is 40 cheerleaders and two time wor uh, wizards that are timed correctly to actually totally stop time. So that tells me a lot of you guys have requested that I make the strongest halfling ever. We're just going to allow the halfling to have some simple fun. I'm going to try and kill all these guys with a halfling. Hopefully it works. Come on, little guy, you can do it. Oh, yes, I love me a good halfling. Now, he might actually die due to his own damage. <laughs> this is gonna be the weirdest fight ever. Yeah, you get him. Hit him in the nuggets, man. There you go. You got the first one down. Just keep going down the line, buddy. You can do this. Oh, dude lost his uh, things. Oh, he's dead. Okay, let go of him, man. Just keep moving on. Oh, he's trying to do the double grab now. Halfling, you're, you're getting confident, my dude. There we go. Another one's down. The uh, cheerleaders have joined the party as well as the time wizards over here. So it's getting hard to follow this guy. But he's going to do it, man. These guys are stuck. Like, they are totally stuck. This is the perfect setup here. Uh, and I love that you can do this. I've pretty much broken the game at this point thanks to this mod. I think the halfling might have died. Like, I can't seem to find... Is he in there? Are you guys, like, trampling him? He's only small, guys. You gotta give him some space. Um, are these guys still even going down? It's very hard to f obviously follow right now. There's too many damn cheerleaders. Oh, there he is! He's still there! I couldn't freaking see him! Okay, we got, looks like, one guy left. Can you let go of the dead guy? There you go. And, yes, the final battle is here. I wonder who is going to win. So I've been watching this for a couple minutes now. It took the halfling quite a while to take down all these guys, obviously. And they have not moved at all. So this is perfect. This is totally set up right. It's 
the perfect time loop right now where you pause the game the whole damn time. That is, that is amazing. I didn't expect that to actually work. I thought they'd at least move just a little bit. Oh, okay, thanks. All right, so one other thing you guys were curious about is how the fireworks work when time is stopped. Will it push them with the physics or will these guys pause in the place? So Floople Snoot said one time wizard with 30 archers versus a giant. Uh, so of course we're gonna try that right now and see if we can maybe push them back while time is stopped. All right, it's stopped. The physics of the fireworks are definitely not working, and bam, it explodes right in his face. I was hoping the physics would just slowly, like, drag him off the map or something, but clearly, uh, that's not going to work. Still kind of cool, but yes, uh, the fireworks do not have physics when time is paused on that unit. This guy is having a hard time dealing with this, though. I think the firework archers are definitely going to win this one, because by the time he's ready to move, the time wizard basically has his thing done, and these guys just keep constantly pushing him back with their barrage of fireworks, and there we go. He's indeed dead uh, with a few celebratory explosions. Okay, moving on back to the zombies. Now, I wanted to basically try and survive a wave of zombies, kind of experience the zombie plague, if you will, and there we go. We got a halfling zombie with his blue shirt on. Now, I decided to use the... Uh, Sensei over here, and we're gonna see how long we can last against this onslaught that will definitely come So I have this nice little area here. It's kind of like a choke point I feel like this is my best chance for survival and we're gonna see if we can take out all of these guys Oh my god, there's a zombie coming. Uh, where's that zombie going? So obviously it is a little bit laggy. I can't slow down the game. I'm sorry about that guys This is just crazy. They there's so many blue guys over there. They infected so quickly. So now I got to deal with these guys coming towards me and they are coming quick. So we better we better start throwing these things down, man. Oh my god. Oh, they're so fast for little half God, they're charging, man. For little freaking halflings, these guys are so damn fast. Come on, keep going, keep going. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, and there we go. I just got eight and I was the final one. <laughs> Oh, that's horrifying. Unfortunately, a little bit laggy, as you can see. It seems like this unit does lag the game quite a bit, but still really fun to watch. I want to see what kind of crazy wars we can get into with this zombie unit. Okay, I thought it'd be fun to see if we could kind of combat the zombie plague with every unit in tabs. Every non-secret unit, anyway. So this is all the factions working together once again to try and drop down the zombie plague. Now, I tried to give the zombie plague a little bit of a chance to at least spread at the start, so we got some of the easiest units at the front lines here. And as we go further and further back, it gets progressively harder and harder. Now, the only secret units I put in this were the giants, because I think they'd be fun to see as a zombie. Uh, now, the big question is, will we be able to take out the zombie plague before it infects everybody? Uh, because it can happen. These guys do indeed die. They're actually not that strong at all. They're zombies. I mean, it makes sense. So I want to see how long this plague will last, how many it will infect, if it will infect them all, or if it will infect none of them. We won't know until we try, so let's, uh, watch what happens here and see. So it looks like he missed the halfling. There we go. He's got a teammate, and potions are coming in. We have the berserker that missed his hit here. We need a really good unit on our team. We can't deal with this with just a halfling and the ordinary zombie. There we go. We got a berserker. Unfortunately, he has already died, and this is going to get messy real quick. Here comes Bob Ross. Did he take out the zombie plague? Did Bob Ross win it? No, we still have the halfling that is up, and he's avoiding everything right now. We got to get more on his team, though. Looks like we still actually got quite a few up, and I think these guys are going to be overrun if we can spread this out. I'm gonna keep going slow-mo. I know you guys don't like that too much. What the hell happened to you? What the heck? Did he just get hit by... He must have got hit by the ballista. We do have weapons of war, too. Speaking of weapons of war, you guys better spread out real quick, or this zombie plague is gonna stop real quick. Bob Ross coming in from the side, surprising us. And I think this is it for the zombie plague. Uh, it's hard to say. Give it a second here. Let's actually speed it up. Yeah, I think Tabs won it! Did we do it? Yeah, okay, so who was... That was actually pretty intense. I thought they were gonna spread. They clearly didn't spread fast enough, though. Uh, we had quite a few. It looks like maybe six or seven that got hit. Uh, let's try and make this a little bit harder by getting these disastrous units way further back. Like the siege weapons, that is going to kill all my units unless they're spread out. So we definitely want to get these things a little bit further back. Are you still alive in there, buddy? 
They took the halfling for a ride. <laughs> I'm trying to spread this to the best of my ability. I think the halfling's dead inside the wheelbarrow, but who is still... No, he's still alive. They're chasing him. He's alive in there. What are you doing, little... Get him, little halfling. You can do it, buddy. Get Bob Ross. Bite his little nuggets. You can... <laughs> I can't believe that. He's taking the zombie with him. I did not expect this at all. Where are you going? The thing is, he's chasing the zombie and it's directly in front of him. So if he doesn't eat him quick, uh, this is going to be bad. Oh my God, he let him go. Oh, uh, you really ruined this, buddy. We had our chance. Now it's, oh God, right in the freaking body. He's still good. Oh, you got to You got to infect these guys though. Uh, he's dead. That was the weirdest experience ever, man. He joined Bob Ross. All right, so trying with one has been harder than I expected. We're going to try with three just to give these guys a little bit more of a chance to infect a few more. Please don't get that guy. That's not going to help us too much. We need to get someone who's really, really good. Come on. Unfortunately, the confusion is really difficult uh, on us. We got the... Uh, the potion seller coming in here and affecting us quite drastically. All right, hard to tell what's going on right now. Bob Ross is really doing a good job at d destroying these guys. We do got people up and spread though that are zombies. So this is when it's gonna get interesting. Can they surprise them? For example, this guy right here, there we go. Now we're getting some of the bigger units as zombies. Bob Ross just took a tumble over to the stoner here. And it looks like he's on foot now. We got zombies that are spreading out. Oh, if we can get the scythe lady, the harvester, that would be amazing. Come on. Oh, Bob Ross joined us. Wait, wait. Bob Ross is over there. Maybe that wasn't Bob Ross. I'm not sure who that was. Now, we are dwindling our units here. We're going to have to infect more real quick. If we do want this to spread, get Bob Ross. Actually, get the Minotaur. We need the Minotaur on our team. Clearly, this is not going to go well. I think the zombies... Might be over once again. I'm actually amazed. I thought once we had a few good men, they would be totally destroyed. But it looks like the Minotaur has the final one, I believe. And did he just die? Oh, no. He just kind of fell over. All right. There we go again. This is harder than it seems. Let's pause time here. Give my dudes the best chance to at least infect a few of the front ones. And that should make life way harder for these guys. Look at this. Look at how many we've affected already. Uh, these guys can still die. You got to remember that. So this is going to give us the best chance. And I think we should have no problem now that we have the time wizard on our side to infect the rest of these guys. Dragons are coming in, though. Finally, we get to experience some of the bigger guys. And this is spreading way quicker. Can we get the king? Come on. Bite him. Bite the king. Uh, Dragon is somehow down already, so that's impressive. And here is the majority of our zombie team right here. It looks like they're kind of bundled up together. Mammoth coming in and hitting everybody down. This isn't good. We need to get the king down quick. Come on, get that king. Oh, it looks like Time Wizard might be the only one left. And once again. All right, maybe the zombie plague isn't so bad, guys. Wh who are you chasing? Wait, who's... All right, did we get Bob Ross? We did not get Bob Ross. Who's holding on the Bomb Ross? Oh, come on, get the Minotaur. He's dead. He's totally dead, and that was the final guy in this plague. Why are you beating up Bob Ross, man? Oh, wait! Wait, the Minotaur! The Minotaur is now a zombie! Come on, if we can get the Mammoth, we have this, man. You must infect him before he kills you. Oh, Zeus is coming in, trying to take us out as well. Minotaur, you're still alive, buddy. You can do this. You can tow- You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> God, we had the king come in, crows, and the mammoth, and Zeus all at once. Ah, oh, this is intense, though. This is this is my favorite unit, like I said. Absolutely amazing, and what a great experience. All right, and I thought we'd end off with a couple more viewer requests that are not tied to the crazy exotic tribal faction. So, Voodoom has asked me to do a ton of wheelbarrow dragons versus a ton of oolers and see what happens to the flames. Not really sure if he knows what happens or what's going on, but a lot of people ask me to do Ulers versus the other dragons as well. So I thought we'd start with this one just because I'm very curious to see what's going to happen with this. Are they gonna freeze? Oh, they turned them into frost. Now, does that actually hurt us though? Okay, that's really cool. And that makes a lot of sense, obviously. We have the frost uh, hammers or whatever, sorry, the frost axes here. Uh, I guess it doesn't actually hurt us, though. I thought the frost would still maybe hurt us, or at least slow us. That would actually be really cool. Uh, but still, really cool mechanic here. So, yeah, you can actually turn the flames into, I guess it would be frost. And it definitely doesn't do enough damage to take out Uller. That being said, Uller's absolutely amazing anyway, so I don't think these guys will win anyways. 
Uh, but yeah, that was a cool experience. And like I said, people were curious about the dragons as well. Uh, Political Sponge has asked Uller versus dragons, and he says as funny as the firework archers. So I think I don't I don't know if that's gonna be the case, but. Uh, I want to see what happens. Is it the same thing as the ordinary dragons? Oh my Jesus Lord. Okay, I didn't expect the pushback that that just had. I thought it would just kind of do the same thing as before with the frost uh, fire. No, it like explodes these guys. Uller, man, what are you made out of? Because that is freaking crazy. I'm actually curious. How many Ullers do we need to take out this many dragons? You know what? I'm, I'm confident with just that. What do we got? Five? I think we might be able to do it with five here. I, maybe I should have spread them out a little bit more. But look at this. Look at that! Okay, I have no idea what's going on or why that would happen. Obviously, there's some sort of blast radius with these axes. Uh, I didn't expect it to be so disastrous, though. Now I do want to see a full war of these guys. We have to go even bigger uh, because, oh my god, look at, that, look, at, look, look at that! What is going on over there? Is it frozen? Is it just stuck like that now? It looks like it's just stuck like that. Okay, you all ready for some craziness? I decided to add the firework archers as well. Maybe adding them will make this even more crazy. And why not? I mean, this is absolutely crazy. I think we got something like 100 guys over here versus 30 dragons. Here comes the fireworks. Uller better get in there and start throwing. And yes, indeed they are. This is going to hopefully totally destroy this game. That's my whole goal anyways. And bam! Here we go. The pushbacks are starting. And I was really hoping they'd actually uh, kind of expand out a little bit more. Looks like we really do need to buff those uh, archers if we do want them to stretch like they were before. Still, is that, are they throwing frost or is that from the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, now that they exploded, that's what I expected. I was waiting for the big explosion. And yes, this might be the best combination ever. Firework archers and Uller. Oh my god. Like, look at this poor dragon here. It is just in a knot. Oh, there's two. That explains it. All right, guys, and I think that's a good time to wrap up another episode of Tabs. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, checking out once again this amazing modded faction. Now, if you want to check out the faction for yourself, link will be in the description. Easily the best modded faction that I've seen yet, and uh, yeah, it actually I think is better than some of the actual factions in-game, which is really nice to see. I'm excited where the modding is going to go in this game, and I will be following it as the game is developed. Keep those suggestions coming, though, because uh, you guys have some really great ideas that I never think of, and I really do appreciate all your support. So thank you so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.